What is going on everybody? My name's Tony 2.0 and welcome to Mad as Hell Monday. For those of you guys that are new to the channel or haven't seen this series before, this is a weekly rant segment that I do where I find something in my life, something around the world, in the news, at work that irritates me, pisses me off. I need to talk about it so I talk to you guys about it. Today we are going to talk about quitting smoking. Fuck. <laughs> so, for those of you guys that don't know or haven't seen me on the crew cast before, I'm a smoker. I've been a smoker for a long time. I think I started smoking pretty regularly right when I was like 15, 16, something like that. Kind of that usual age where kids kind of pick it up uh, and do it a little more regularly as they can get, yeah, and, you know, as they become accessible to them. On my 21st birthday, for a present for myself. I actually quit smoking. I quit for a year cold turkey, no problems. Uh, and then on my 22nd birthday, we like went to the casino or something and somebody gave me a cigarette and it's been downhill from there. So I've basically been smoking for 14 years. Um, and I've decided with my daughter getting here that it's probably time to, at the very least, cut back. I need to stop. For her sake, for my sake, um, it, it's time. There, there's so many shit things that come with it. Uh, especially for a fat man like me, I'm staring coronary artery disease in the face and laughing at it, waiting for it to just take me out. For those of you that have never smoked before, do me a favor. Don't try it. Don't even worry about it. It's not worth it. Just don't even, it's not cool. It's, it's a shitty habit and it's really fucking expensive. Uh, when I started smoking, cigarettes were like, God, I was buying cigarettes for $1.87 a pack. Now they're like almost $6. So that kind of tells you that <laughs> it's it's one of those things that there is no benefit for them. Um, and people make tons of excuses of why they still smoke. But uh, to be honest, there's there's no excuse. You can't, can't defend it. It's terrible for you in every form of <laughs> anything. It's fucking shit. And there's plenty of people who continue to smoke even after things that they've been warned about their whole life cancer emphysema they still smoke you see them they're on the oxygen bottle still puffing away that i can't believe now for me i don't have a lot of any adverse effects from smoking you know i can walk just fine i don't get short of breath i don't cough i don't hack stuff up all the time i'm not your like typical smoker for whatever reason maybe i just haven't done it long enough or things just haven't caught up to me yet now i want to stop while i'm still ahead i think it is frustrating. It's like, it's the worst thing ever. There's so much shit that goes through your head. And for me, it's not really the addiction to nicotine. I don't wake up and feel like, oh my god, I have to have a cigarette. I gotta get my, I gotta get my fix. I gotta get my fix. No, that's really never been it for me. For me, it's really about habit. And it's about trends that I go through. You know, I wake up, get in the car, smoke a cigarette on the way to work. Smoke a cigarette at my lunch break. Smoke one on the way home. Smoking in between gaming, uh, you know, taking breaks during gaming. A lot of people, it's it's more than that. It's a mental addiction to the actual thing. For me, it's just kind of habit, and I don't feel those things that people describe as the addiction to nicotine. Now, I may just be lying to myself, but that's kind of personally what I, how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, are you smokers? Have you ever tried to quit? I know my buddy Stan, um, FPS Re Hillbilly, has... It is in the process of trying to quit as well. He's he was a huge, even heavier smoker than I was. Uh, for me, I'm I was about a half a pack a day, uh, kind of guy about ten cigarettes. For me, I, I'm not doing a cold turkey this time. I'm gonna have a little bit of help. I went and got one of those electronic cigarettes, and as I'm recording this, we're going on to day two with it. It's actually pretty. It's helped a lot. It's curved my that temptation, you know, just to pick one up and light it and smoke it. Um, the flavor's kind of there, and it's it's still you're inhaling. And, and to anyone thinking about them, I went and bought the blue e-cigarette thing from Walgreens. It cost me about 60 bucks, which is about two and a half weeks worth of cigarettes for me. So it's probably worth it in the long run if it actually helps me to cut back. There's a lot of things that go into quitting smoking, and the biggest thing for me is it's it's nerve-wracking, and I'm I get irritated and pissed off because... I, I was breaking my habits, and that was a terrible three months the last time I tried to quit smoking. So this time I'm going to do it with a little bit of help. If you guys have any questions, it, it, 
what I think about the the e-cigarette, how it works, things like that, please leave it down below. And let you know, let me know. Put it in the comments section. As always, guys, I want to leave you with a famous quote regarding the topic that we're covering today. Uh, and today's comes from a fucking hilarious man, Johnny Carson. He says, I know a man who gave up smoking, drinking, sex, and rich foods. He was healthy as a horse right up to the day he killed himself. <laughs> if any of you guys have tried to quit smoking, you know it's fucking terrible. And giving up all this stuff that makes you happy isn't always the right way to go. There's a lot of science that, that backs that up. But everything in moderation, guys, that's what you guys should remember. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this commentary, click that like button for me. Share it with your friends. Comment. All that good stuff. I will see you guys next Monday if this smoking thing doesn't kill me first. Thanks, guys. Peace.